Hi, I'm Richard Jackson. This is one of a number of videos. The others have been produced or made by our uh, Kenyan graduates to tell you things about some things about Kenya culture, about health care, about health insurance. Um, I wanted to add a few ideas about uh, cultural competence when you arrive in Kenya. Um, kind of fill in what our Kenyan friends have said. Culture, literally, everything you think and say and do is a direct result of your culture. Americans really don't travel very much and they don't get around and they think that what Americans think, say and do is what the whole world should be doing. Uh, Kenyans think, say, and do things very differently than Americans. I have traveled all over the world, uh, over 100,000 miles every year, and you can pick Americans out individually and in groups from across the room or across the street. So a couple of things to be very aware of. One thing you're going to run into is Kenyans give speeches. I'll give you an example of, I think last year or earlier this year, um, we attended graduation at AMIU, AMREF International University. And we were pulled away post-graduation from our graduates and they were not given a chance to speak to us. And then off we went um, to different meetings. So they wanted to come to our hotel and thank us personally for giving them the opportunity to get their bachelor's degrees. 21 people showed up. I expected an hour. We brought in lunch and I had a group of uh, teachers coming uh, literally an hour, hour and a half after the start of this meeting. Well, um, every person in the room got up and gave a speech. I think there was like 21 of them. It took over two hours. It's important to Kenyans to speak. We had, uh, had two um, teachers at Kenyatta National Hospital a few months back, and I jumped into the room to see how they were going with their mentoring, and they had half a dozen department heads who came down to greet them, and each department head gave a speech. It's very important to Kenyans to express themselves like that, so don't be frustrated. Um, just be patient. Prayer. Kenyans are very religious. Meetings start and end with prayers. Uh, I think we could use more of that in the United States, but uh, don't, don't be shocked um, if your meetings start and end with prayer. Kenyans are very soft-spoken. They I have great difficulty understanding much of what students are saying. Uh, a Swahili phrase that I use is saute kubwa, saute kubwa, which means speak loudly, but they're very soft-spoken. Something else about their culture, they do not, will not show frustration. And that's quite unlike Americans because we can get upset very easily. They're very, very polite people. Again, sometimes Americans, not intentionally, but we move so fast, that can be seen as rude. Uh, a little Swahili goes a long way. So if you just try, even just Jambo and Habari, hello, how are you? Um, that goes a long, long ways. When you meet people, you will shake everyone's hand. That's Kenyans greet everyone in a, in a group. There may be four people, you're greeting one person, there might be three people standing there, 
they will all want to shake your hand. So very polite, shake hands with everyone. Time, this is probably the biggest one. I probably should have started with time. Uh, and Henry tried a phrase, which I corrected in his video, but a Tanzanian, we were late, about an hour and a half late, a Tanzanian uh, cardiologist and her staff were outside waiting to greet us for over an hour. And I apologized. I said, I'm just so sorry to be so late. And she said, don't worry about it. Americans have watches. Africans have time. There was, this is so true. They, they wait their entire lives for appointments. It, if you, from childhood, wait for everything, it becomes part of the culture. We had a, a symposium of our graduates, our orthopedic graduates, last year, year before. And there were 65 that came to the symposium. The person who was supposed to book the meeting room forgot to do it. So we have people from all over the country and they didn't show any frustration. Someone finally found a room that could fit us all. And somehow the word got out to all of those people because they were all over campus. Somehow the word got out <clears throat> where the meeting was and everyone showed up. We started an hour and a half late. It doesn't bother them a bit. It's just the way it is. I had a text this morning from someone who had an interview at MREF International. And he told me he waited for an hour and then the interview started. It's just the way it is. Don't be upset. And your students, they're not used to coming on time. Now you can tell them that you're starting at eight o'clock or you're starting at 8.30. Don't be upset. if. If they're late, don't show frustration. Um, it is the way it is. That is their culture. They have a totally different sense of time. They are very, very patient people that don't get upset when things go wrong. Americans are very fidgety and easily show that they're upset or that they're disappointed. Uh, you will see great wealth in Kenya and you will see great poverty. Starvation is real, depending on where you are in the country. When the rains fail, there's problems. The, it's overpopulated as most African countries are. Be ready for that. There is a massive slum in Nairobi called Kibera. It's something that you may pass by, but you won't go through. Um, just accept what you see. Finally, um, social media posting. It was mentioned in one or two of the other videos. I'm going to mention it again. Do not post anything negative on social media. You may not even think it's negative, but if you're taking pictures, if you take a picture of a poor person or a street scene that, that is negative and you want to share with your family or friends the poverty that you've seen in Africa, folks, they will see your post. Nothing is private. They will wonder why you haven't posted something beautiful that you saw. We had a volunteer who talked about Kenyatta National Hospital and that ceiling tiles were falling down in the treatment room. I was requested by the hospital administration to have that post taken down. Very offensive. They are proud people. They are proud of their country. They are proud of all that goes on. 
There may be corruption. There may be poverty. There may be all kinds of negative things. Do not post about those negative things that you see. It's offensive to them. So that's, I just wanted to underline that one. Um, one other, I've, I'll close with this about government employees. Uh, because if you're at Kenya, uh, Kenya Medical Training Center, they're all government employee, employees. If you're an employee of the government of Kenya, you cannot be fired. You can be transferred. You cannot be fired. Therefore, things can move very slowly. And you can look and see great incompetence. Um, there's nothing to be done about it. It is their culture. It's the way things are done. Don't post about it, just accept it. So hopefully some of these words uh, will help you avoid um, stepping in the poo, so to speak, and will help you in your wonderful upcoming trip to Kenya.